what's up you guys, Aftershow Reacts here and today I'm going to be watching some more Charmed, the reboot. Uh, this is season 1, episode 9, uh, it's called Jingle Hell I believe, and I think that this is the very first Christmas themed episode of Charmed ever. I was trying desperately to try and think of an episode where they did celebrate Christmas and I think the closest to that there was in the original was a videotape of them um, opening presents as kids in the, I want to say fourth episode? Not entirely sure, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be very interesting to see a Christmas themed Charmed episode. I do believe this is a mid-season finale as well, so that means that uh, Charmed will be gone for a little while. But do not worry, I fully intend to continue this show when it comes back from its uh, Christmas break. Um, because I am a Charmed fan, as you can see. And uh, I'm really curious to see how this show goes. I'm also really thinking about getting a triquatra tattoo on my wrist. And so I have tried to draw one to see what it would look like and I can't draw it at all. It sucks. Um, so yeah, that's a thing that I'm thinking about doing. I've never had a tattoo before, so it's a very interesting thing. I don't know if I want to do it. It's like kind of like a test kind of thing. I don't know. But anyways, <sighs> let's get into this episode. Oh my god, the- really? That's so extra. What do you want? Hey, you're the one that broke the friggin... Friggin... Sorry. Pentagram? One of my comrades overreacted. So, does this mean you want in? I don't know. Do you want this or not? If I want in, I'm supposed to come back for initiation. Oh, just like Kappa. Don't freak out if they make you do weird stuff like eat Oreos until you puke. It's just part of initiation. But you'll be lucky if it's only weird stuff. So they'll think nothing of killing you if you're caught. Not to mention they are adept at mind games. You could be seduced. Terry, your hysteria is not helping. I beg your pardon, hysteria. Is it quite necessary to use that anti-feminist term? Not to mention I've yet to find any evidence that they're evil. Now, I think I'm with Harry on this one. The whole thing <laughs> seems kind of shady. If me infiltrating the Sarkana leads us to Mob's killer and prevents other elders from being killed, then it's worth it. What's Paul Turner doing here? What are you doing in Romania? That was easy. You'd think they'd have some safeguards in a place like this. It should be it's over a there. church. figured that the amulet of the Archangels would be much more impressive. Infetti. Infetti! We're talking about Archangels now? What is this supernatural? Your demons. Not what we wanted. Oh, come on. Paul you Turner, you're so you, you you're not even evil, are you? Literally, you just you just Paul Turner. <laughs> Kills him anyways. Is it eggnog? Oh, no, it's coquito. Much better. Kind of the same but with coconut. If I have to stare at that sweater all day, you're trying my coquito. I've been feeding you brandy for the past three weeks. Fine. Ah! Delicious. Disgusting. Very good. <laughs> Mel, how is it? Is it as good as Mom's? Totally. Should be proud. They found the driver who hit Galvin. Sounds like he was lucky to escape just a broken leg. The guy had two DUIs on his record. So maybe the accident wasn't Mark related. I mean, it's a college town. Drunk driving is a problem. Or it was the Mark, somehow to try and warn me off. I should just stay away until I know. I thought I should visit Mama Roz again, see if there is a way around the mark. Ray's driving from Minneapolis. He should be here by four. 
Can't wait to see him. It still just think it's weird, you know, you call your dad by his first name. My dad was never Dexter. He was just dad. He and mom broke up. He left her out of the blue the day after your fifth birthday party. Because he didn't want to ruin my birthday. It's called being considerate, Mel. And you cut him way too much slack. You're too hard on him. He knows it's our first Christmas since mom. You have such a big heart. It's literally your power. I just don't want to see you be hurt. Hey. Hey. Oh, it's really coming back <laughs> there. Uh, Some crutches. Oh, yeah. gosh. They're, um... Predicting a blizzard. Uh, you remember my uh, my sisters and I don't know why they made me laugh. Hey. I feel really Hi. insensitive now. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. I have never kissed oh. someone under mistletoe before. It's not really. I don't know. Is it a thing yet? I don't know. I'm doing this because you're my son. Look at this. This is going to be your cure. The only of course. thing missing. Sure. The collective powers of the charmed ones. I don't want to hurt Maggie or her sisters. Because you're Paul Turner. You will give this to Maggie. <laughs> She's the one who has to wear it. She's the empath. It just drains their powers. This is the only thing that will keep you alive. As a demon. Please, just give Maggie you. Call it a Christmas gift. When their powers are drained, it will turn black. And if she takes it off before, all of their powers are returned. Convenient. I love you so much, but you have to do this. The prophecy's clear. The source will possess a demon born of a human. Ah, uh, don't be jealous. You got to be the fun one. And we will find okay. all the power we need. <sighs> we can't kick Galvin out. He can't even move from the couch. You have to at least wait till his life feels better. If I go near him, he's obviously doomed. You. Go buy him with alcohol in conversation. Just act like you want to get to know him. Hey, Parker. Well, Merry Christmas. I got presents. You're not leaving, are you? No, I'm just running an errand. Maggie's in the kitchen. Thanks. Well, that was product placement, if I've ever seen it. Hey. Thank you. Let me go put it under the tree. You don't want to open it now? Oh, we, um, we open presents at midnight. That's what we did with my mom. I was just very excited about showing it to you now. You know what? Screw it. I'm too excited. It's beautiful. Here, let me help. This is for your dad. I know you said he's in Japan for the year. It's a chess set inspired by the Japanese Natsuke Club. So thoughtful. I don't deserve you. Too perfect. No, he's Paul Turner. Way to freak a person out. In blood and spirit, join with us. Blood and spirit, join with us. Welcome to the Sisters of the Arcana. I thought you'd have to actually, like, you know, blood, blood, you know, you know those things. Jada said the crows do their bidding. The Arcana control them. Mom and the other elders that were killed all had that tree branch pattern. It's consistent with the scarring left from Jada's power. It all points to her. I said the crows were accomplices, lookouts. Something. Just because everything points in one direction does not mean that no, that's the through. right direction. I can't believe <coughs> hey, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I'm can I just get some water? He just been found. When the mark flashed, he winced, like it was hurting him. Okay, but we have to be sure. We can't just go tell Maggie that we think her boyfriend might be a. I don't even know what he could be. If this is true, this is bad and very dangerous. Dangerous? What do you mean? The more the evil magic is within one, 
the more the mark will repel them. If the mark is causing pain to this being, then the intentions are evil. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Mama Rose. Really bad luck to run into one of those protection marks, bro. What are the odds? Listen, the amulet still needs to power up. In the meantime, I'll get rid of that mark and get the time witch off your case. How are you gonna do that? You got All right. Impersonating. I can't wait to spend Christmas with you, my beloved sister. Ugh. <laughs> Wait, doesn't this mean that if you go near Galvin, it'll hurt? Like, same thing that will happen? Macy, what the hell? That was so loud, I just told everyone that a raccoon must have knocked something over. Let's hope Gavin and Parker got it. Are you okay? Yeah. Well, I don't know what happened. Oh my god. Do you think it was Galvin's mark? It must be. So you were right. It really doesn't want you two together. Totally. Did she say why it shocked Parker? She said it's malfunctioning. That must be why it blew me back. Malfunctioning? That doesn't make any sense. It's a protection word from his grandmother, not a toaster. So I guess it's just a coincidence that Parker wins when the mark glowed. Oh. Parker is as much of a demon as I am. Hmm. Thank God we didn't go and tell Maggie, huh? She already thinks I disapprove in a choice of men. Listen, bring me a drink for Galvin. I needed to do the spell over. You'll have to be the one to give it to him to remove the mark since I can't stay in the house right now. <laughs> he drank the whole thing. Well, there's only one way to find out. Snuggle up to my man, see how close I can get. Let's hope this ends in a little stalking stuff, you know, all right? You're not seriously thinking about losing your virginity to him. Tonight? I'm, I'm kidding. Oh, you were so convincing. <laughs> hey. Well, it's been all day. So the mark's just removed like that. And okay. Actually, uh, it's called... Uh, It's called some, but it is muy fuerte. <coughs> Parker? You're sounding worse. Did you bring your medication? Actually, I'm supposed to start a new regimen. <clears throat> Something experimental. It could cure me. Really? Well, that's... But there are side effects. I could feel like a different person. So, of course, my family wants me to do it. Well, it's because they love you. They want to save you. What about what I want? They never ask. I know they love me. I just I wish they would listen to me. Hey, Maggie, the plants. So they don't even notice their power's being drained? <coughs> Let me go get you some water. Uh, the necklace that Parker gave you, did he say where he got it? Um, some vintage store. Why? So just curious. You're never just curious. Just, I saw it change color. It's probably just a mood necklace. What? I really didn't want to have to tell you this, but earlier, Macy thought that your Google mark affected Parker. It started flashing red when he went near it, and now, the necklace? What exactly are you saying? You think my boyfriend is a demon, and my Christmas gift is evil? I just got a really weird feeling right now. The way he was looking at the necklace. You got a weird feeling and that's enough to tell me you think I'm so stupid I wouldn't notice my boyfriend is evil. I'm an empath. I think I would know if there was something going on with Parker. Yeah, why don't you? I've been reading his thoughts for weeks. I know I can trust him. It's dad. You can't make it. Congratulations, pal. You get to be right. Maggie, slow down. Everything okay? I got it. They just leave her unattended. They realize that she's like, she can move things with her mind, right? All right, their powers are drained, I forgot. <laughs> she's gonna try and read his mind, realize she can't. I was right, he does this all the time. Maybe I am too trusting. Is this like a mood necklace? It is. I didn't mention that. No. I can 
trust you, right? Maggie. Yeah, of course. You don't look sus at all. <laughs> Mr. Paul Turner. I know. I will never hurt you, Maggie. He took the necklace off. I'm gonna wake Harry up and see if he knows anything about an amulet. You know, keep an eye on Parker. Okay. Remember what I said before about conveniency? I knew it would happen. <laughs> as if she would notice that it get well, taken off of her as well. Damn it, Hunter. <laughs> Your human side is so skittish. It's adorbs. You'd be better off without it, you know that, right? You idiot. Do you know what you're throwing away? Listen to me. This is about turning you into the source. What? Yeah. You can be a king. The source of all evil. Dad believes that's your destiny. Dad wants me to be the source? You can be free. Don't you want that? Yeah. I do. He wants to be free of evil because he's Paul Turner. Yes. Uh, some Saint Dragos has been wearing the amulet on his corpse at a church in Bucharest, but originally the fallen archangel Belial used it to seal the powers of all the other archangels. Parker is trying to steal our powers. Maggie, I need to talk to you. Now? We're about to eat. This can't wait. Is everything okay? You're scaring me. Hey, Parker. Could you give me a hand? I need to hit the bathroom. All those drinks are probably catching up to me. Sure. I'll be right back. That's not him. Promise me you won't go anywhere. Okay. Macy, where's Maggie? She's in trouble. What? Harry! Never mind. I need you. You're calling me for help, but you're right here, which means... Oh, no. Free time! It was him that killed the the mom. Night night white letter. Harry! <laughs> Harry, are you okay? What happened? Blimey, that strumpet nearly made me soil my knickers. Why do you suddenly sound even more British than usual? Because <laughs> he's not Harry, he's a shapeshifter. <laughs> You are too soft. I don't even know who you are anymore. You never did. You can't hold me forever. Please, let me explain. Parker, no! Maggie! I'm gonna just, just leave this at, uh... <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> if you've seen the original charm, you know! You know. Because I literally just watched this episode not one week ago. Of the original Charmed where he's like, let me explain. And he shimmers her away. Because he tries to protect her.
I swear, if it gets to a point where, like, I'm gonna vanquish... Okay. If it gets to the, I'm gonna vanquish you, and then she ends up letting him go, but making her sisters believe she vanquished him... Then, then no one out there can say that this is a new show. They can't say, stop comparing it to the original, because you can't have a TV show like this. Name it Charmed. Have the exact same fucking, um, like, font, like, title font. Use the same premise. And then literally rip a storyline straight from the original. Okay? I understand a show wants to be its own thing. And I've given it the chance. You know, nine episodes. It's good, it's good. Uh, but if, if this episode ends exactly how I've said it has, then nobody out there can say stop, um... Stop comparing it to the original, considering that they haven't had an original idea yet, really. Mm, come on, Charmed. Redeem yourself. Surprise me. This is the mid-season finale. Come on. I can't believe this. You're a demon? I wanted to tell you. I tried to tell you before. Please don't be scared of me. Look, I made a mistake. Let me make it up to you. You think destroying that's gonna make it up to me? I didn't have a choice. I was born half demon, half human. So everything we had was a disgusting lie. You used me, you manipulated me. Please, Maggie. You promised you wouldn't hurt me. I even heard it in your thoughts. What you and I have, it is real. Please. I love, I love you. Just stay away from me. I feel so stupid. You and Phoebe. Nice. You both are just as stupid as each other. It's okay. Oh, I'm sick. If Parker's half demon, maybe his human side really does love you. He did save you from his brother. And like he said, he can't help how he was born. You don't need to try and make me feel better. I fell for Parker's lies and dance. I will never make the mistake of blindly trusting someone like that again. It's past midnight. I know it's probably hard to get in the Christmas spirit, but... You could open presents. <laughs> What are you doing here? You're a new recruit. Wanted to see if you were okay. Your very first night with us, you need protection from our crows. You charmed ones. Next level extra. You tried to help your mother too, you know? What? You know, they came the night she died. They failed, obviously. Whoever killed her was pretty damn powerful. Got big plans for you, Vera. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas. To Melahus, this key de puerta. To Melahus, this key de puerta. Harry's gonna get sent there. Oh! That was Charm, season one, episode nine, total jingle hell. You know, not bad for a mid-season finale. They send their white light, white light of the hell. They rehash the Cole Turner storyline. Look, I'm not saying that, like, I'm not saying that it's, like, that I'm not enjoying the show. Like, it's alright. And, like, some aspects of the show probably, like, 
some aspects of this storyline are written better than the original. I will I will admit that. Like some some parts of it make a lot more sense. Some parts of it uh, flow a little bit better. But it is still a rehash of the original storyline. And when you're creating a reboot, if you can't have original stories, why create a reboot in the first place? I'm just... This show, for me right now, it's just very unoriginal. And I watch it every week because I'm a Charmed fan, but I just don't think it's necessary because you're not telling new stories, you're telling the same stories with a different cast. I'll give you, I'll give you the sending Harry to hell. That's something different. I look forward to seeing that. And where that leads. But otherwise it just seems like the same story again. I don't know. What do you guys think so far? It's the mid-season finale. What do you guys think? Do you guys feel the same way as I do? Do you have a different opinion? I'd like to know. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. And I'll see you when it comes back. Uh -oh.